Hello everyone and welcome to this week's webinar where we will talk about the art of persuasion in procurement. We will start this webinar in approximately 4 minutes, so if you want to grab a cup of coffee or a cup of water, feel free to do it in the meantime. I see that more people are still joining. Welcome to this week's webinar where we will talk about the art of persuasion in procurement. We will start this webinar in approximately three and a half minutes. Let's just give some time for um, people to get in this session. In the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comment section below. And also feel free to grab a cup of water or a cup of coffee while you wait for the webinar to start. I see more people are still joining this session. Welcome to this week's webinar where we will talk about the art of persuasion in procurement. If you have any questions throughout the webinar, feel free, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and we will be answering all of your questions. Also, please let us know uh, which country you are joining from. It's always interesting to find out um, where people are joining from all over the world. So just let us know uh, in the comment section below the country that you are joining from. I see more people are still joining this session. Welcome to this week's webinar, where we will talk about the art of persuasion in procurement. We will start this webinar in approximately two minutes. So in the meantime, if you want to grab a cup of coffee or a water, feel free to do it while the webinar doesn't start. In the meantime, also please let us know in the comment section below the country that you are joining from. I see that more people are still joining this session. Welcome to this week's webinar where we will talk about the art of persuasion in procurement. We will start this webinar in approximately one and a half minutes. So if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below, also throughout the webinar. And also please let us know which country you are joining from. We'll just uh, wait a few, one more minute um, to give time for the people that are still trying to join this session and we will start this webinar. If you have any questions throughout the webinar, feel free to let us know in the comment section below all of your questions and our team will be answering them to you right now. For those who just joined the session, welcome to this week's webinar where we will talk about the art of persuasion in procurement. If you have any questions throughout the webinar, please let us know in the comment section below. Also, it will be very, um, very nice to understand which country you are joining from. So please let us know in the comment section what is the country that you are watching us from. We will start this webinar in approximately 20 seconds. So feel free to grab a cup of water or a cup of coffee before we start it. All right. Let's get started with a webinar in 5 seconds. So good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to today's webinar on the art of persuasion in procurement. My name is Philippe and in the next few minutes or so we will dive into the key strategies and techniques that can enhance your ability to persuade and negotiate effectively in procurement. Today we are going to uncover the critical role of persuasion plays in the world of procurement. You know it's not just about buying and selling, it's more about influencing decisions to benefit your organization. So whether you are a seasoned professional or new to the field, we will cover practical insights to help you navigate the complexities of procurement processes. So let's get started. Why does persuasion matter in procurement? Well, persuasion plays an important role in procurement, particularly in successful negotiations, relationship building and overall efficiency in the procurement process. In procurement, which involves acquiring goods and services from external sources, 
the ability to persuade is not only a desirable skill, but an essential one. Let's explore why persuasion matters in procurement, breaking down its significance into key aspects. First off, persuasion is the key to making negotiations work well. In procurement, which is all about buying and getting services, negotiations happen when both buyers and sellers want to get a good deal. Being persuasive helps procurement professionals express what they need, put forward strong arguments and guide everyone towards agreements that benefits both sides. It's not just about haggling prices, it's about making sure everyone ends up happy. Another crucial part where persuasion matters is in building strong relationships with suppliers. Suppliers are like important buddies in the procurement world, and having good relationships is a must. Persuasion helps in talking about expectations, solving problems together, and making sure everyone is on the same page. It's like being a good talker and making friends, so things go smoothly. Additionally, persuasion helps get support for procurement plans within a company. Procurement decisions affect different parts of the business, and getting everyone on board is important. Being persuasive means explaining the benefits of your ideas, dealing with worries and getting everyone working together. It's like being a team player and making sure everyone is cheering for the same team. When it comes to persuasion, being good at communication is super important. Procurement folks need to talk about sometimes tricky things in a way that's easy to understand. Whether talking to suppliers, your team or other parts of your company, being clear and convincing helps get your message across. On top of that, persuasion is handy when things change suddenly. Procurement is always full of surprises, and being persuasive means you can adjust to new situations. It's about making smart choices even when things don't go as planned. To sum it up, persuasion is a big deal in procurement because it's not just about convincing people. It's about making negotiations work smoothly, building strong friendships with suppliers, getting everyone on board within your company and being a good talker in a world that sometimes gets a bit tricky. So being persuasive is a skill that makes everything in procurement click. So now let's move on to our next topic. We will explore the key principles that can empower you in negotiations and supplier interactions. These principles are the foundation for effective persuasion in procurement. Firstly, the principle of reciprocation underscores the essence of giving and receiving. Imagine a scenario where a supplier goes the extra mile to meet your urgent request. In such instances, acknowledging their effort not only builds a sense of goodwill, but also establishes a reciprocal dynamic. By consistently offering value and fairness to your suppliers, you pave the way for a collaborative relationship, creating a symbiotic environment where mutual favors become a natural course of action. Moving on to commitment and consistency, consider a procurement professional who commits to delivering goods within a specific time frame. This commitment, once made, becomes a cornerstone of trust in supplier relationships. Suppliers rely on these commitments and consistent adherence to them to foster a culture of reliability and dependability, strengthening the bond between procurement professionals and their suppliers. Now let's explore the principle of social proof. Imagine showcasing successful collaborations with suppliers on your company's website or during procurement presentations. By illustrating positive outcomes, you not only validate your decision-making process, but also influence others in the procurement ecosystem. This social proof becomes a powerful tool guiding stakeholders toward favorable decisions and promoting a collaborative atmosphere within the supply chain. Moving to the liking principle. Let's consider the various factors that contribute to building relationships. Suppose a procurement professional actively engages in cooperation, provides positive feedback and establishes common ground with suppliers. These actions, rooted in factors such as similarity and complements, create a likable persona. In turn, suppliers are more inclined to collaborate positively, leading to smoother negotiations and strengthened partnerships. Fifth on our list is the principle of authority. Imagine a procurement professional who consistently demonstrates expertise through industry knowledge, certifications and successful project implementations. By positioning oneself as an authority figure in procurement, others in the industry are more likely to trust and follow their recommendations. This trust, grounded in perceived authority, becomes a valuable asset in influencing decisions and driving positive outcomes. Finally, let's consider the scarcity principle in procurement. 
Picture a negotiation scenario where a supplier offers a limited time discount or a special deal for a fixed quantity of goods. Understanding the scarcity principle allows procurement professionals to leverage such opportunities, creating a sense of urgency and desirability. This can lead to advantageous terms and conditions, ensuring that both parties perceive the deal as a valuable and time-sensitive. In summary, the principles of reciprocation, commitment and consistency, social proof, liking, authority and scarcity form a comprehensive framework for effective procurement strategies. By incorporating these principles into everyday practices, procurement professionals can cultivate strong collaborative relationships, drive positive outcomes and navigate negotiations with finesse. And remember, rejection is a part of the game. But hey, we've got your back with tips on handling how to deal with this. Now let's talk about an equally important aspect. Building strong relationships is crucial in procurement. We will discuss practical tips to establish trust and rapport with your suppliers. Be open and honest in communication. This principle forms the bedrock of any successful relationship, especially in procurement. Open and honest communication builds trust, ensuring a transparent and cooperative partnership. Imagine you are working with a supplier and you clearly express your expectations, requirements and potential challenges from the start. This transparency creates an atmosphere of trust, setting the stage for a positive collaboration. Additionally, actively listening to your supplier's feedback and promptly addressing their concerns demonstrates a commitment to a two-way dialogue reinforcing trust over time. Be reliable. Consistency is crucial when it comes to reliability. If you constantly meet your commitments and promises, you establish a reputation for reliability. Consider a scenario where you consistently deliver orders on time without fail. This reliability not only reinforces trust, but also lays the foundation for long-term relationships. Suppliers appreciate working with reliable partners, and this reliability becomes a cornerstone of a trustworthy association. Walk a mile in their shoes. Understanding your suppliers' perspectives and challenges is like putting on their shoes and seeing the world from their point of view. This principle emphasizes the importance of empathy in building rapport and trust. Suppose your supplier is facing difficulties meeting certain requirements due to external factors. By acknowledging and understanding their challenges, you create a supportive environment. Demonstrating genuine care about your supplier's success fosters a strong sense of partnership and trust. Embrace collaboration. Procurement is a team effort, and collaboration is the glue that holds it all together. Working hand-in-hand -hand with your suppliers to find solutions that benefit both parties is crucial. Picture a scenario where you and your supplier brainstorm and implement solutions that result in a win-win outcome. This collaborative approach not only strengthens the bond between you and your supplier, but also nurtures trust and cooperation. Sharing common goals and working towards shared success builds a solid foundation for a lasting partnership. Finally, regularly provide constructive feedback. Feedback is a powerful tool for continuous improvement. Offering a constructive feedback and encouraging your suppliers to do the same creates a culture of mutual growth. Suppose your suppliers suggest improvements to certain processes and you implement those changes. This commitment to improvement from both sides reinforces trust. It shows that both parties are invested in enhancing their performance, leading to stronger relationships over time. These principles go beyond being simple guidelines. They form the essence of a successful and trustworthy procurement relationship. By being open and honest, reliable, empathetic, collaborative and committed to continuous improvement, you pave the way for robust, long-lasting partnerships with your suppliers. These principles not only build trust but also contribute to the overall success and efficiency of your procurement endeavors. And finally, let's break down the negotiation process. Negotiation is an art and will guide you through essential steps to master this skill. Let's dive deeper into each step, providing additional details, examples and critical insights to enhance your negotiation approach. Step 1. Do your homework. Before stepping into negotiation, it is essential to keep yourself with knowledge. Imagine you are preparing for a negotiation with a supplier. Doing your homework involves understanding their perspective, knowing market dynamics and aligning your organization's value with the situation. This knowledge gives you strength and confidence during negotiations. For instance, knowing the current market prices and your supplier's challenges 
positions you strategically, ensuring you enter negotiations well prepared. Step 2. Approach negotiations as a win-win game. Negotiations are not just about securing a deal, they are about making agreements that benefit both parties. Picture a negotiation where the focus is on creating a win-win situation. By nurturing trust and focusing on mutual benefits, you lay the groundwork for long-lasting partnerships. This approach encourages openness and collaboration, fostering a positive negotiation environment. Step 3. Make your objectives clear and listen actively. In the turbulence of negotiations, clarity is key. Clearly articulate your objectives and actively listen to your supplier's perspective. Consider a negotiation where both parties communicate openly, understanding each other's needs and concerns. This transparent communication acts as a treasure map, guiding you to find solutions that benefit both parties. Actively listening and responding to your suppliers' input demonstrates a commitment to a collaborative and mutually beneficial outcome. Step 4. Be flexible and adaptable. Negotiations are like a dance, requiring flexibility and adaptability. Picture a scenario where unexpected opportunities or challenges arise during negotiations. Being flexible allows you to change your strategy on the fly, seizing opportunities and overcoming hurdles. Flexibility becomes your secret weapon, ensuring that negotiations remain dynamic and responsive to evolving situations. Step 5. Invest in rapport and trust. Beyond the business aspect, negotiations are fundamentally about building relationships. Imagine investing in rapport and trust with your suppliers as a long-term strategy. This investment acts as the grease that ensures smoother negotiations and sets the stage for future collaborations. Building trust takes time, but the payoff in terms of positive negotiations and enduring partnerships is significant. Step 6. Leverage data and analytics. Now let's get serious with this. They serve as witnesses that back your position, making your argument solid and decision-making objective. In negotiation, having data to support your stance adds credibility and strengthens your position. For example, presenting market trends, cost analysis and performance metrics provides a factual basis for your negotiation points. And remember, document every term and condition clearly. Think of this as your insurance policy against future misunderstandings. Having a clear record of agreements helps prevent disputes and ensures that both parties are on the same page. For instance, document delivery schedules, payment terms and quality standards provides a reference point for future interactions and minimizes the risk of miscommunication. By following these seven steps, you can navigate negotiations with confidence, foster positive outcomes and build strong and enduring relationships with your suppliers. Each step contributes to comprehensive negotiation strategy, ensuring that your approach is not only effective but also adaptable to the dynamic nature of procurement. Now let's go into the crucial aspect of adapting to virtual environments in procurement. As our professional field continues to evolve, so does the way we conduct negotiations and build relationships. In procurement, the shift to virtual environment is undeniable. With remote work becoming the norm, negotiating deals and maintaining strong supplier relationships requires a different set of skills. Let's explore a few key strategies to nav navigate and excel in the virtual landscape. Firstly, communication is at the forefront. In a virtual setting, clarity becomes even more essential, ensuring that your messages are concise and use platforms that facilitate effective communication. Video calls can add a personal touch, bridging the gap created by physical distance and fostering a sense of connection. Building rapport virtually may seem challenging, but it's certainly possible. Take advantage of virtual coffee meetings or informal check-ins. These moments allow you to connect on a personal level, just as you would in face-to-face -face interactions. Remember, a strong professional relationship often starts with a personal connection. Additionally, leverage technology for efficient processes. Digital platforms and tools can enhance the efficiency of procurement activities from document sharing to collaborative project management. Familiarize yourself with these tools to ensure seamless collaboration in the virtual space. Security is also important in virtual procurement. Be vigilant about the cybersecurity measures in place and ensure that sensitive information is handled with the utmost care. Trust is the foundation of any successful procurement relationship and safeguarding data contributes significantly to building and maintaining that trust. Lastly, adaptability is key. 
Virtual environments come with their own set of challenges, but those who can adjust and adapt thrive. Stay informed about emerging technologies and trends in virtual collaboration. Embrace change as an opportunity for growth and improvement. In summary, as we navigate the virtual landscape of procurement, focus on clear communication, building rapport through virtual connections, leveraging technology for efficiency, prioritizing cybersecurity, and embracing adaptability. These strategies will not only make you more effective in virtual negotiations, but will also position you as a forward-thinking and agile professional in the evolving world of procurement. As we close this webinar, here are three things we'd like you to remember. First, persuasion's crucial role in procurement. In procurement, persuasion emerges as a fundamental skill influencing successful negotiations, relationship building, and overall efficiency. Beyond the traditional buying and selling paradigm, procurement professionals are tasked with steering decisions in ways that distinctly benefit their organizations. Second, principles of effective persuasion. In the pursuit of mastering the art of persuasion in procurement, a set of key principles become the foundation for success. These principles include reciprocation, commitment and consistency, social proof, liking authority, and scarcity. Leveraging these principles forms a comprehensive framework that empowers procurement professionals to cultivate strong collaborative relationships, drive positive outcomes, and navigate negotiations with finesse. Third and last, essential steps in negotiation. Mastering negotiations in procurement involves a strategic approach outlined in essential steps. Beginning with a thorough preparation, treating negotiations as a win-win game, and setting clear objectives, professionals position themselves for success. Active listening, flexibility, and the establishment of trust further enhance negotiation prowess. The use of data and analytics adds credibility and meticulous documentation of terms and conditions acts as a safeguard against future misunderstandings. Collectively, these steps contribute to effective negotiation strategies, fostering enduring relationships with suppliers and positive outcomes in procurement endeavors. Check out our Soft Skills for Procurement course. This program focuses on essential soft skills such as networking, effective communication, and emotional intelligence, tailored for procurement professionals. Just sign up, finish the course, and at the end you'll receive a certificate. This course is all online and lets you learn at your own speed. We have included soft skills and persuasion templates with practical insights. For more information, reach out to me at philippe at procurementtactics.com. So are you looking also to enhance the skills of your procurement team? Look no further than procurement tactics. Here's what we have to offer. A range of online courses covering 10 different subjects designed to upskill teams globally. You can visit our website right now to access and download all the course syllabi. Now on to the Q&A session. This is your chance to dive deeper into the topic we have discussed today and get answers to those burning questions on your mind. Let us know in the comment section here on LinkedIn and we will be answering them now. Thank you all for your attention, it was a pleasure and I look forward to seeing you again at our next webinar next week. Enjoy the rest of your day!